Welcome to the Hamsi Analytics Daily Market Commentary. I'm Paolo Navarro. Today is Thursday, May 3rd, 2012. For economic data, jobless claims came at 365 and we're expecting 375. For ISM services came at 53.5 and we're expecting 55.5. For the markets, the S&P 500 futures saw a high of the day of 1399.25 and a low of the day of 13. 84.5. We closed at 13.86. Today's volume was 1.8 million contracts, almost in line with the 20-day moving average of 1.7 million contracts. For the Nasdaq futures, we saw a high of the day of 27.33.5 and a low of the day of 26.92. We closed at 26.92. Today's volume was 270,000, in line with the 20-day moving average. For the market internals, the New York Stock Exchange advanced decline differential closed at negative 1,202. NASDAQ advanced decline differential closed at negative 1,251. There were 36 new 52 tight for the S&P 500 and 4 new 52 closed. For the volatility, there were 360,000 contracts traded on the fix and the total premiums was 47 million. For the dollar weighted put call ratio on June, we saw 0.66 with 27% of the total premium paid. For July, we saw 0.62 with 39% of the total premium paid. Okay, here we have the daily chart for ES. You can see here we had a big down day today. We were down. We broke the positive one, positive two sigma channel that we were in. Right now we're almost at the zero sig line, but not as quite. The important thing here is going to be tomorrow's number in the morning. We got the non-farm payrolls, so that's pretty much going to dictate the trend throughout the at least the following day. So very important to see what happens tomorrow morning with those numbers. As for the um, moving average, we did not break the 50-day moving average. We hold on a little before, so that's fine. On gold today, we had a down day. So you can see here, a big down day today, like 20 handles or so. So important, as you can see, we're still trending lower broke the 20 day moving average and the 10 mo day moving average we have seen some resistance at the 1630 level as you can see here which was the, the bounce of today today's low we're gonna see if tomorrow we're able to hold those levels or if we're gonna break and go to the 1600 that we've been talking about for a long time now and break this consolidation period that we've been having and go and test the 1600 and then the 1550s, 1520s are going to be the next level to watch. For silver, pretty much the same big down day today. We made a new lower low, which was important for testing the lower side. We broke the 30 level here, as you can see. The low today was 29.83. I'm still saying that we're going to test even these lows of 26 but first we need to get over the 30 level close and then test it to the highs fail at that test and then we're able to go lower match faster last chart the VIX you can see here for the VIX we tested the 20 day moving average and we failed still we could call it the same range that we've been looking at for over a month right now the 50 day moving average and the 100 day moving average on the upside tomorrow is going to be basically the final day that we see that even if we get a pop we're probably going to break to the low side and maybe test the 15 level or if we get a bad number we're probably going above the 1890 level from more to the 20s and maybe we need to add some protection here to the downside if we get another number because that, that will be two in a row so I'll keep an eye on tomorrow's number, which is going to be very important. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day.